Welcome back everyone to another episode of Big Red's Isopods. And this week we're just going to be taking a look at some of my cultures that I kind of want to give you guys an update on that I haven't really talked about in a while. Some that are doing pretty good and some of them that aren't doing so good. Anyway, before further ado, let's get into it. So anyway guys, we're going to start with the... Uh, the positive side of the story here. I'm gonna be taking a look at these two cultures here and kind of giving you an update on them. And then we'll take a look at the ones that I got over there that are a little bit um, not so great of stories. So these guys here are my, um, what are they called? Armadillidium espanol. So they're doing relatively good. What I've seen in here is there's been a lot more monkai recently. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a look under here and we're going to take a look. Oh my goodness gracious. Look at this. Now this culture only started out with a couple individuals like 10, 15 or no, not 10. Um, about five, five to 10, somewhere in there, maybe like seven individuals. I'd have to go back in the previous video when I kind of uh, started the culture, but as you can see, they're doing fairly well. So that's a really awesome uh, awesome little update for you guys there. I uh, actually didn't look into this container before I filmed this. I just wanted to take a look and kind of see. I knew that they were doing well because I seen a lot of Monkai running around. So I'm just glad to see that the numbers are actually that high. So we're going to give them a little bit of food in here. Not too terribly much because they're not too terribly many in there. And they still have a lot of food in the soil and whatnot. And then uh, we're gonna take a look at our next culture. So over here, this is one I've already done kind of an update on, is my culture of Kibaris Red Tigers. So these ones here are doing extremely well now. I've seen a lot of young and babies running around in here. A lot of adults, which is awesome. Uh, I don't know if you guys have seen that episode or that video that I did a couple um, weeks back where I did an update on these guys talking about how they came back from only two adults or three adults and they've completely come back so that's awesome. It's great to see how many uh, more adults we have in there now. Uh, there's still a lot of juveniles running around as you guys can see down in there and they're just doing awesome. So that's just uh, really great to see and I really wanted to show you guys that to just show how, how far along they've come and how they've uh, got really far back up in their numbers, which is awesome. So this next culture here is actually my Armadillidium Magic Potion. And before I open this up, I will let you guys know, if you don't wanna see any um, any dead isopods or any isopods that are uh, not doing the best, then I wouldn't uh, continue watching this video. You could skip forward if you want to the end, or you can just uh, Leave a comment down below that you don't want to see this type of stuff, but I just want to give you guys kind of a heads up of what you can look at or like what can come when you're uh, raising isopods like this, that it is possible for your cultures to have problems. Now there was obviously a lot of die off in this culture as you can see, um, but it has been coming back. I have been noticing that there has been a lot more young running around that are okay, but I'm not too sure. Uh, this culture could just completely crash and I have talked about it before and No, see there is quite a few in there that are coming back. So hopefully it turns around Obviously, there's a lot in there that uh, have passed already, but there is still young in there crawling around Hopefully that will come back um, I thought about removing all of the exoskeletons, but at the same time that's good calcium for them there could be I guess potentially um, other um, bacterias or whatnot or whatever hit this culture still in there like in their exoskeletons but for now I'm just gonna leave it as is and um, we're gonna kind of see what's gonna happen now every time I do touch this culture I try to touch it last but every time I do I make sure to wash my hands afterwards and that's something very important to remember now people that have been following my channel for a while will remember this culture uh, this culture is actually one of my older cultures um, the, it was in one of my Toronto Expo videos, uh, and this is actually my culture of um, Oniscus acellus maple, or what some people are calling BC now. Um, and this one's going to be the, very similar to the 
um, the magic potions we just took a look at and the fact that there's not very many in here. So they have actually bred a little bit. Uh, I've got them to breed a little bit and actually they're starting to come back a little, but I've had a lot of problems breeding these. They actually only just started recently breeding. I'm actually surprised to see as many young in here as I do see. As you can see that they've been having issues. This one over here looks like he's a little bit sick as well, but they have been slowly coming back. So that's actually uh, surprising. I was gonna, I was expecting to give you guys a little bit of a um, more sad story with this, but looks like they're coming back. All these cultures we took a look at today are uh, kind of on the men. So that's a good thing. This isn't always the case. And the kind of the reason why I wanted to give this episode to you guys is because I really did think that uh, a lot of these cultures weren't gonna be doing as well as they are. So sometimes um, you end up having problems. Like this one has been giving me a lot of trouble. I'm surprised to see that many in there. Uh, actually, I was expecting to see maybe one or two adults, either that or they were all gonna be dead. But it looks like that's uh, kind of on the men. But I'm not too sure about the magic potions, but I've been keeping them completely separate from the rest of my isopods in a completely different location so that it can't transfer over whatever disease has got to them either that or whatever sickness they have. Uh, I don't want it to spread to anybody else. So I've been trying to keep it separate, trying to wash my hands as much as possible in between touching the cultures or even after the culture or whatever else. So we're gonna give these guys a little bit of feed, but uh, other than that, guys, that's gonna be all. So again, guys, I just love giving you guys updates on kind of what's going on in the isopod room or going on with my cultures. Um, I really didn't think that those cultures were gonna be doing as good as they are, which is an awesome bonus. But at the same time, I want you guys to be aware and know of the facts that uh, things could possibly go wrong whenever you're keeping isopods. Same with anything else, right? You can't always expect things to go the way that you plan and just uh, try your best. And you know, sometimes it works out. Another thing I could have showed you, but I didn't really show you this week because they've been doing so well is that uh, wild type uh, culture I caught is doing excellent. There's so many different monkai in there or so many monkai in there and a lot of adults and a lot of juveniles as well, which I'm really proud about and really happy about. But at the same time, I kind of wanted to show you guys kind of the more negative side of keeping isopods that sometimes like um, there can be expensive ones that you buy and sometimes they just don't work out. Like I'm um, having a little bit of trouble with my Bolivari right now. I'm hoping that it's not the same kind of issue that the magic potions are having because theirs is obviously a lot worse. Uh, but there has been a couple die out with the Bolivari and I'm wondering maybe it's because I got a lot in that container. I need to uh, up them to a next size, which I'm planning on doing with a couple species uh, in the near future. And I'll let you guys know about. Maybe I'll film that for you if you guys really want. Uh, leave a note down in the comments if that's what you want to see. But uh, other than that, guys, I uh, hope you have a great week and we'll see you again next week. All right. Bye.